Part 1. The Scientific Method Before it could be determined who did it, it must first be determined what happened and how it happened. Quote by Dr. Judy Wood. WTC-1 weighed 500,000 tons. It had 110 floors and was 1,368 feet tall. Each floor was one acre in area. WTC-1 was 208 feet wide. The lobby of WTC-1 was higher than most of the debris. Most of the central core columns of WTC-1 is missing. These intact core columns are not crushed, pulverized, bent, melted, vaporized, or buried under rubble. Core columns are not crushed, bent, melted, pulverized, or buried. At one point I said, it's Kappas, there's a light above us. I thought it was somebody with a flashlight. The person speaking is Mike Meldrum, Ladder 6 Fire Crew and Stairwell B Survivor. And, uh... I said, what is it? And he said, uh, Mick, there's a beautiful blue sky above us. Yeah. And I said, Cap, there's a 105-story building above us. He says, no. He says, I think we are the top of the World Trade Center right now. Janelle Guzman McMillan fell from the 13th floor and was trapped for 23 hours before being rescued. Pascale Bocelli landed here from the 22nd floor. 14 people survived in stairwell B. What do we know about the survivors and what does it tell us about the destruction of WTC-1? 500,000 tons of solid building material did not collapse down on top of them. Because if it had, they would have been crushed and buried by it. They were not blasted or deafened by explosives or hit by shrapnel. They suffered no burns from jet fuel fires, lasers, molten metal, pyroclastic clouds or nukes. They were not struck by a single falling steel beam or other fatally heavy object. They were not vaporized or blinded by nuclear detonations. They did not see, feel, or smell any molten metal coming down from the floors above. They experienced partial or total levitation effects during the main destruction phase, as did some people out in the street, as well as seeing debris flying up the stairwells. 
They were right in the middle of the huge dust cloud and they were not bombarded with quote hot molten iron spheres. When the dust cleared, they looked up and saw blue sky where a few moments before a 500,000 ton steel and concrete building had stood. Most of them were able to walk out with little or no assistance. The image shows the rubble pile and the intact remains of the core. No rubble landed here on top of the core. View from inside the lobby. The core can be seen. The rubble pile was mostly the intact core. These lines indicate the top of the lobby. There are 110 floors above the lobby. Hardly any rubble landed here. Five hundred thousand tons turned mainly to dust, leaving a very small rubble pile. The scientific method, as it came into being during the Enlightenment period, is a method of thought known as empiricism or as the empirical method. Under the terms of empiricism, all conclusions are, must, and can be drawn from observable evidence, and from observable evidence only. Evidence must precede any and every conclusion to be drawn from it. Then, if sound logic governs the relationship between evidence and the conclusions drawn from it, that conclusion will be irrefutable. That quote was by Dr. Eric Larson, author of the book A Nation Gone Blind read by Dr. Judy Wood, author of Where Did the Towers Go?